Hi everyone, I'm Letty Gutierrez-Kenny, Director of Faith Formation here at St. Gregory the Great Parish in Milwaukee, and this is our Saint of the Week. So last week, we talked about Our Lady of Lourdes and how she visited a young girl named Bernadette um, in 1858. This week, we're going to talk about two uh, relatively new saints um, that Pope Francis made saints in 2017 um, from Portugal. And they are Francisco and Jacinto Marto. And they, along with their cousin, Lucia, also had a vision of Mary in, in their town of Fatima, Portugal. One Sunday afternoon on May 13th of 1917, Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia were all out watching their family sheep. Um, they would play in the yard. They had a, a, were building a playhouse out of brush and rocks at the time. And suddenly they saw a bright light flash in front of them and they thought it was lightning, but instead it was a ball of light that just came down upon a, a little shrub of evergreen that was there. And within the lights, there was a beautiful woman dressed all in white. The children um, were told by the woman to not to be afraid um, and that she would return, um, she was from heaven and that she would return to them on the 13th of every month for the next six months. Um, and she asked them to meet her there. There are a lot of people, including Lucia's parents, who didn't believe the children. Um, they laughed at them and made fun of them, harassed them and threatened them. Um, and even put them in jail because they kept saying that they had seen the Virgin Mary. Um, but nothing would derive them from, from telling the truth and what they saw. So during the summertime on the 13th day um, of each month, Mary would appear to them. And each time more and more people came to see what the children had seen um, and they they would come with them to see what was what was going on. And Mary had told them to pray the rosary for peace for the world and to sacrifice for sinners. Then on October 13th, um, it was the day of the last apparition or the uh, vision of Mary. And there were 70,000 people that had gathered to see um, to see the vision, to see Mary. Um, at this time, the Lady of the Rosary had asked them to build a chapel on that site where she had appeared. Um, and everyone that was there witnessed a miracle. And this miracle is called the miracle of the sun. Um, and what happened was that the sun seemed to be dancing in the sky. Um, and it was spinning like a top and there were all different colors shooting out um, from from this ball of the, the, of the sun. Um, and then all of a sudden the sun dropped to the earth or appeared to drop to the earth. And then all of a sudden it was back up in the sky like nothing had happened. And all the people that were there saw this miracle. So we've heard about two different stories about how the Virgin Mary appeared to young people. So you might think that if the Blessed Virgin Mary appears to you, that you automatically become a saint, which isn't exactly true. But she did appear to three children who listened to her and tried to do everything that she asked them to do. Um, they prayed the rosary and they offered sacrifices for sinners um, and for the conversion of the world. So they were children that wanted to please God and with all their hearts, and that's why the church has declared them saints. 
Francisco and Jacinta both died um, at an early age. Uh, Jacinta was only nine years old when she died, and Francisco was 12. Um, and actually, the lady told them that they that they would join her in heaven relatively soon after the the visions that they had of her. Um, but they were declared saints uh, by Pope Francis when he visited Portugal in 2017. And Lucia, she became a Carmelite nun um, and lived until she was 97 years old um, and only passed away in February of 2005. And I believe that they are starting the cause to declare her a saint as well. So it just goes to show that even at a young age that we are called to be saints. Um, maybe by living, living the way that Jesus asks us to live, um, or by praying and doing sacrifices for others um, to show that we love not only them, but also love God. So, so my challenge for you this week is actually a little backwards from last week. So last week we prayed the rosary. This week I'm going to encourage you to make your own rosaries. Um, and really all you need is maybe um, some yarn or thread um, and some beads, 10 beads of one color and then one bead of another color. Um, and then either a medal or a cross um, that you can tie on the end and just make one decade of the rosary. You know, you can start off like that if you if you're, um, don't have a lot of supplies. Um, if you are inspired to, you can make all five decades of the rosary. Um, and make your own rosary, maybe make two and share with somebody else um, to encourage them to pray the rosary like um, Francisco and Jacinta and their cousin Lucia did to others. Um, so that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed our story of, of Jacinta and Francisco um, Marto. And I want to encourage you to continue to, to live as saints as well. Okay. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.